Man, check this out. Imagine if Mike Tyson acted like Tank Davis in his generation. We know Mike Tyson for being a legend, right? A warrior. We finding out that Tank is a fraud. A fraud warrior. A fake, a plastic. You thought it was real. You thought that jury was platinum. That jury turned out to be plastic. You got finessed. You know, we bought a platinum chain. We thought we had a platinum chain from, from, from what his name is, Jimmy Yang, or whatever the hell his name is, uh, one of the top uh, jewelry makers in the industry, right? We go home, we test it, we get up, we test it on the diamond test to turn out this shit ain't real at all. It ain't real platinum, it ain't real diamonds, damn thing plastic. That's what tank is. That's what that's what we find out tank is. We got food, we got finesse. Now imagine Tyson acting like tank. Tyson at 135. Devin Haney applying pressure. They put Devin Haney as the mandatory. Tank management, I mean, uh, Tyson management management team come out. Can't nobody make us fight nobody. We doing it. We doing it our way. We the boss. And they dropped the belt. Tyson team dropped the belts, so they wouldn't have to face Devin Haney. So they wouldn't have to face, or oh, let's say they wouldn't have to face uh, Holyfield. Tyson team dropped the belts at 135, at, 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 at the weight, you know, whatever. Let's say Tyson was at 135 or whatever. You know what I'm saying. He dropped the belts. So he wouldn't have to face his mandatory. Well, what would y'all think of Tyson? All right. So then, uh, uh, Tyson, I don't need the belts. I don't need the belts. You know what I'm saying? Belts are for collecting dust. I don't need the belts. Yeah, since since you want since they put you in the mandatory position, making you fight Devin Haney. Can't nobody make us do nothing. I mean, making you fight Holyfield. Imagine Tyson saying, you know, in his team, can't nobody make us do nothing. <laughs> can't nobody make us do nothing, man. We the boss. We choose who we want to fight. Imagine that, Tyson saying that. Okay, let's fast forward. Holyfield killing it, making noise. Uh, what was the next thing? He goes up, goes up to one forty. Tyson goes up to one forty, come back down. Devin is Holyfield is being undisputed, coming on this undisputed, making Tyson look bad, calling out Tyson. He called out Tyson again. His last fight after his after he beat big name opponent, he called out he uh, he calls out Tyson again. Um, the uh, Holyfield management team, Holyfield's trainer says we want Tyson, 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 right? And then Holyfield get on get on Twitter, call Tyson the pussy. Tyson don't want no smoke. Tyson, Tyson the pussy. Ty, Tyson don't want no smoke. Now here comes Tyson responding on IG. I mean, oh yeah, before that, before that, now, before that, Tyson wouldn't even mention the dude. Now Tyson would go on interviews, and, and and people would try to bring up Devin Haney. I don't know, you know, Tyson. Piece uh, people would try to bring up Holyfield. Tyson would duck the question. Tyson would pretend like he didn't know who Holyfield was. Wouldn't say Holyfield name and all this shit. Just lame shit, right? Doing all that. But then he would call but then he he would get back at home and start Twitter fingering. Talking about who he'll beat up and all this. He'll beat this up, beat that up. He beat this up, beat Haney up, beat Terrence Crawford up. Not Terrence Crawford, he'll beat uh um uh, What's his name? Um, damn, what's his name? Uh, Bru Bruno? No, Lennox Lewis. Not Len let's say Lennox Lewis. He'll beat tight. He'll beat Holyfield up. He'll beat 
Lennox Lewis up. Riddick Bow, that's who I want to say. He'll beat Riddick Bow up and all this. So then when when Riddick Bow confront him, nah man, them were just jokes. Riddick, you know I love you, man. Them just jokes, Riddick. Riddick, you know them were just jokes. I was joking, man. I was joking. Imagine Tyson saying that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then imagine Holyfield calling Tyson a pussy on social media. Tyson a pussy. He don't want no smoke. And then Tyson get on uh, IG start start out. Uh, he start complaining. I mean, he start responding. Uh, you know the niggas got. I can say their name. They got a little name right now. You know they got a little name right now. You know Holyfield. Holyfield pussy. He ain't, I'm from the street. He ain't, he ain't from the street. I'm from the street. Fuck Tyson. He ain't ever heard Tyson say that. And Tyson has had a right to say that. Tyson was actually from the street. Grew up, robbed everything. I ain't ever heard about Javante Davis robbing folks and. Fighting folks out there like that, like what Tyson was doing. But anyway, so Tyson get up. I mean, Tyson get on IG in the dog now, talking about how he from the street, talking about how Holyfield pussy, you know, was a was a choir boy, you know what I'm saying? But still, was steady ducking Holyfield now, steady not trying to fight Holyfield, talking all this shit. He from the street, like that means something. I'm from the street. I'm from Brooklyn. You know, from Bronxville, we from the street, uh, uh, Holyfield's pussy. Yeah. But you duck Holyfield as a mandatory at 135. Yeah, okay, well, he pussy, okay. So then, Holyfield team off a of tank. The trainer, you know, he put it out there, 20 million tank. I mean, Holyfield team put it out there on Tyson. We got 30 million for you, Tyson. You got 30 mil. Here go, here go Tyson responding. Y'all, y'all got a contact done. Y'all got y'all niggas the fun. Niggas don't even know who to contact. <laughs> niggas don't even have to know how to contact. This is a nigga that's running. See? If Tyson was doing this, Tyson would be looked at as running. He's just fucking dodging and ducking and running. From this from from, from Holy Field right now. Now he talking about He was his own boss. Now he talking about uh they don't even know how to contact done. They don't even know how to contact done. <laughs> you got to contact done. So they try to get in contact with done or whatever. Tank, uh, Tyson turned the fight down. Not only that, uh, the management for Holyfield hits up Tyson in his DM, try to negotiate. Can we talk? Tyson, can we talk? No. Tyson respond back, no. Now he talked all this shit about he from the street. But then when they, they try to get a deal, no. No, no talking. No talking at all. He don't want to negotiate nothing. Right? Then he want to bring back a counter offer. Then he come back. So they throw out their 50, uh, 60 mil. Let's say they throw out 60 mil. You still don't hear nothing from Tyson trying to make the fight. Quiet. Still talking about everything. Yeah, look, look how you never heard Tyson talking about. Look how big this. Look how look how big Holyfield is. Look how big Frank Bruno is. Man, they on steroids. You ain't never heard Tyson saying no shit like that. Look how big he is. You ain't never heard Tyson complaining about how big another fighter was, man. This dude is not a warrior. This Javante is not a warrior, bro. He plastic. He a fake. He's a con man. He turns out, turns out to be a fraud. All this time, we y'all thought y'all had a war. Y'all really had a fraud. They like to pick. They like to beat up on people. He know he can beat up on. What you call a bully? You know. So, now the Saudis want to get involved with Tyson and Holyfield. And we know the Saudis going to make it big. If you negotiate this thing right, this could be a $100 million fight. This could be Tank could co go home with, you know what I'm saying, maybe six, 
60, 70 guaranteed. 60, 70 million guaranteed. You know what I'm saying? If you play his cards right, this is crazy. Could be a $100 million fight, right? And instead of Tyson trying to negotiate, trying to make this fight happen. Man, you know what, man? Before they can even talk to me, I, I need two Ferraris at my doorstep. Before I even think about negotiating, I need two Ferraris at my door. Tyson would never do this, bro. Tyson, you think Tyson would never do this? This is how much of a duck Javante is. This is how much of a non-warrior. This is a, this is how much of a Javante. He ain't Javante. He is he? This is how much of a girl he is. He's Javante, a princess. He's not even a girl. He's a princess at this point. A bougie princess. He's not even from the street. Claim he's from the street. What what dude? From, I thought you. If you from the street, you supposed to be tough. You supposed to have some toughness about you. Ain't no toughness in this dude. He trying to claim, and he he trying to claim he from the street. He that that's really the opposite. He's really where he's claiming. Uh, Devin Haney is. Whatever he claims Devin Haney is a pussy. That's what. That's who he really is. He projected. He projecting that on Devin Haney, but he really the pussy. Ain't no street in you, bro. Ain't no street in you. The way you acting, the way you conducting all this cowardice, bro. Please don't you don't 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 ever claim no street again, bro. You can't claim no street. Hell, yeah, you got going on, man. Tell my street calling somebody a pussy in. Doing all this goddamn ducking. This is gonna hurt your legacy too. The reason why Tyson could take a loss and still be legendary, more legendary than the people that beat him, because of his heart. So you 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 would have been better off following that Tyson blueprint instead of that Mayweather blueprint. You know. And you still would have ended up a millionaire. But better than that, you would have had a a a a, a warrior legacy. See, you finna you finna end up having a coward legacy. If you don't try to make the big fights, you're gonna end up having a coward legacy. And your bank account gonna be it gonna be less than what you thought it was gonna be. It's gonna be less When you thought it was going to be more. And you probably won't even make the Hall of Fame. If they give you the Hall of Fame, it's a gift. It'll be a gift Hall of Fame. It ain't going to be a legitimate Hall of Famer. You wouldn't be, you're not a Hall of Famer right now. Devin Haney can go in the Hall of Fame right now. Tank can't. You know. So... Dude, like I said, imagine Tyson acting like this, bro. Tyson wouldn't be the legend he was today. He is today. Tyson would not be the legend he is today if he conducted himself the way Tank is conducting himself right now. The way Tank is acting. Tyson, if Tyson was acting like Tank in his career, he wouldn't be considered a legend. Wouldn't be considered in the Hall of Fame. Would be, I ain't never, I ain't never hear people talk about Tyson was a coward. You know, but I heard him talking about Mayweather was a coward, and Tank following that blueprint. Yeah, but 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 Mayweather fought the hard opponents. He he ain't even, I ain't gonna even compare him to Mayweather. Because Mayweather fought the big guys, the tough fights. All type of fighters. You know, flat footed, athletic. Mayweather fought them all. Strong, game, you know. So, I ain't even going to compare him to Mayweather on that, on that part. 
But uh Yeah. So you're hearing your legacy, Tank. You're looking like a coward. Stop claiming the streets. Cause you ain't representing them. But some ignorance. You ain't represent the toughness of the streets. You represent stupidity from the streets and ignorance from the streets. That's what you represent. But you don't represent the toughness from the street. You know what I mean? Hell, Devin Haney represent more street, more toughness from the street than you do. <laughs> but you call him a pussy. Yeah. That's it. Peace.